Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing. First and foremost, I want you to look at that word in front of you and repeat it for me. The word is effective. I'm going to talk about scoring a pro fight in boxing. Okay? So here we go. So here we have a scorecard that judges use to score a fight in boxing. There are a number of them here. Here's another one. They all look slightly different. Here's another one. And you can go and look at scorecards for scoring boxing. Okay? Now how is a pro boxing match scored? So I got this little this little uh, this little uh, description here, this little article on it, I thought it was succinct, simple, and makes sense. All right. There are four components for scoring a professional boxing match, not an amateur now, professional. And they are here: clean, effective punching. See, like that, you could see that Marquez got hit by Manny Pacquiao. All right. Not only do you see that he got hit by Manny Pacquiao, but you see that he also got hurt when he got hit by Manny Pacquiao. That's being effective. Got that? So it not only must be clean, it needs to be effective. And by effective we mean you, you hurt your opponent with that punch. Not only did you land it clean, but you hurt them. You caused them to step back, to reset, and then to come at you again. Got that? The other criteria is, again, effective aggressiveness. Effective aggressiveness. Okay? And effective aggression is not just pushing back your opponent. Okay? It's not just uh, getting your opponent pinned to the ropes and then throwing a whole bunch of punches has a lot to do with what effective punching okay so effective aggression has to do with you are being able to maneuver your opponent whether it's push them back or get them to throw punches at you so you can counter them and hit them and land effective clean effective punches on them all right got that this is very important. Next, ring generalship. Ring generalship is the skill you have to control the tempo of a fight and to control where a fight takes place. All right? Boxers generally fight in the center of the ring and try to stay off the ropes. Pressure fighters generally want to get their opponents in the corner on the ropes where they can wail away at them. Generally, I say. It's not always that way. So those are... And the last criteria is defense. And defense is effective. Again, the key word here is effective. It's effective when a, you can make your opponent miss landing clean, effective punches. They can't land clean, effective punches or their power shots on you. They can't land it cleanly on you and they can't be extremely effective in landing those shots to hurt you. Now, you must understand that in scoring a fight, it's called a 10-point must system. And the only reason we need to go to the judges scorecards is if the boxer has failed to knock out fail to knock out his opponent this is knockdown sorry but fail to knock out his opponent then we have to go to the judges scorecards this could happen at various points in the fight if it is stopped for some reason because of some action which prevents one of the fighters from going on which was probably unintentional or intentional. So, 
let's go now to the actual scoring very quickly and then we will go on to an example I will give you an example of scoring a fight in the next video so here we have a number of different things but let's go to the scoring the scorecards again let's go to this scorecard here and let me blow it up a little bit more here all right this is Shane Mosley versus Sergio Mora and you see it's mentioned right there this is judged by the California State Athletic Commission they they got the judges for this fight and you had David what looks like Declan or De Denkin I think it's David Denkin Kermit Bayless and Lou Moretti okay now I'm gonna just very quickly explain to you how a scorecard looks it can look different ways but the ingredients or the content on it is the same down the middle here right here you're seeing RDS which is the round score this is David Denkin's scorecard this is Kermit Bayless's scorecard and this is Lou Moretti's scorecard okay there are three scorecards here there are three judges down the center of the scorecards in each one of these judges scorecards is the rounds to the right of the scorecard you have in this case Shane Mosley's uh, breakdown his, his scoring and to the left of the rounds you have Sergio Mora's scoring okay sometimes they give you even the corner Sergio Mora would be in okay now down this column you see points deducted down this cor corner you see net points or cumulative score and down this column in Sergio Morris you have the points awarded for each round alright so let me just go through this really quickly this is a 10 point must system which means the most you can award a fighter in any round any round is 10 points okay mm. so here we see if you're looking at the winner of the bout here is Shane Mosley for round one according to David Denkin and also according to Kermit Bayless also according to uh, Lou Moretti okay and this is because he got 10 points the loser he got 9 points he was not deducted a point so therefore he got nine points one point less than uh, Shane Mosley if he was deducted a point he would have depending on how many points were deducted in this column he would have that much less points okay another way how he could lose points is if he was knocked down every time you were knocked down in a fight you lose another point okay alright so let's go on here to talking about scoring a fight so in round one, Shane Mosley won round one. He had the ten points, and uh, Sergio Mora he had nine points. Uh, sometimes rounds may be indistinguishable. You may have a ten-ten round where nobody actually won it, so both fighters are awarded ten points. All right, let's move on. Round two, we see Sergio Mora won that. He had ten points. Mosley had nine. Round three, Mosley won that, according to David Denkin and Sergio Mora lost that round okay now what I want to show you is on the extreme corner here what is called a cumulative scorecard and a cumulative means exactly what it means you add one round to the previous round so here Mosley had he got the 10 points here and in this round he had 9 points so his cumulative score after two rounds is 19 points Sergio Mora had 9 points in the first round he had 10 points in the second round so his cumulative score on David Denkin's scorecard is 19 points. So they were drawn at the end of two rounds. Why is this important? This is important because if the fight is stopped for whatever reason and they have to go to the scorecards, let's say it was stopped in round six. When we look at the end of round six, who's ahead on the scorecard? Shane Mosley is. He has 58 points, whereas Sergio Moore had 56. Now we see at the end of the fight, According to David Denkin, who's only one of three judges, he had Mosley winning that fight 116-112. However, Kermit Bayless, at the end of the fight, 
had it for Sergio Mora. He had it 115 for Sergio Mora, 113 for uh, 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 Shane Mosley. And Lou Moretti, at the end of the fight, he had it a draw. So this fight ended up being a draw because one judge scored it for uh, Mosley, one judge had it for Mora, and one judge had it a draw. So it was a draw and fight. Okay? And this is what we're talking about here. We have what's called a draw. If at least two judges have the match as tied, or they have it as a split decision, that is, one has it for one fighter, one has it for the other, then if the third fighter has it as a draw, or very close, it's called a draw. All right? If that fighter has it for one fighter or the other, then it's known as a split decision, where two of the three judges score it for one boxer. Majority decision is where two of the three judges scored for one boxer, uh, and it was a clear win. All right, it wasn't a small win; it was a clear win. All right, and then unanimous decisions where all three judges scored for the same boxer. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in real time how I actually score a fight in the next video.